Hallelujah. When he was a younger man, he wasn't an archbishop, but now he's an archbishop. Come on, brother. <laughs> brother Marvin. <laughs> he's like, what's he talking about? My nephew told my brother one time, I got to tell this story. We were sitting there, and I have a half-brother that was, he had an executive job, and he always wore a coat and tie. And he was down visiting Mama one day, and he had always had a coat and towel. He wasn't a preacher, but, and he's sitting there one day, and John looked at him, and he said, Leslie, Uncle Leslie, he said, where you get them ties like that? He said, I think I got this in a belt. He said, they got them with the curve in the bottom of them like that. Brother Marvin. I got it from the snare drum and cymbal too quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey, you, you, you expected me to preach longer than I've been preaching? You gave me two. You, oh, I, I, see, I, ha, hallelujah. Halle, halle, I like this red one, but it's on fire. Hallelujah. It's on fire. What? So red means stop? <laughs> I can grab back green one any time. <laughs> hey, y'all, back to the congregation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 19, verse 11 and 12, that they took handkerchiefs from Paul the apostle, from the garments he had been wearing on his body while preaching and declaring the gospel of the Lord Jesus. And the Bible said, Amen. That they took those handkerchiefs and aprons that he wore, amen, and they delivered them, verses 12, to those that were demon possessed and those that were sick. And somebody shout, devils came out and the sick were healed. That's Acts 19, verses 11 and verses 12. Somebody shout with his handkerchief. Somebody shout with a Holy Ghost hanky. God did signs and wonders. Look at your neighbor and say, that is so ridiculous. But it is surely miraculous. If you can't have belief in the ridiculous, you sure can't embrace or have faith. Come on, somebody, for the miraculous, because God does strange things. Matter of fact, he has chosen the foolishness of preaching to save them that will believe. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 21. Hello. That makes me feel good. Look at your neighbor and say, whose fool are you? 2 Corinthians 4 and 10, Paul said, I'm a fool for Christ's sake. Come on, somebody. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 27, this, this is amazing. God says he's chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So to the mind that was learned and educated, it seemed simple. It seemed strange. It defied logic. This don't make no sense. How can God, come on, somebody, take a little handkerchief from a preacher, amen, and it be given to those that are bound with devils. Somebody shout alcoholism is a devil. Proverbs 20 verses 1 says, Wine's a mocker, strong drink is raging, and he that's deceived thereby is not wise. Ain't it amazing? The devil's put on a can and on a bottle, Budweiser, and God's word in Proverbs 20 verses 1 says, Bud, you need to wise up. Because whoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Ain't that amazing? Ain't, ain't the very name Budweiser? Come on, somebody. Mocking God's word from Proverbs 20 verse 1. I'm telling you, it is. Somebody shout, it's not a disease. It's a, it's a devil. God said in Matthew 12 and 31, Jesus said, if I cast out demons by the spirit of God, the kingdom of God's come nigh unto you. That is the kingdom of God in the earth activated and operated. Amen. Glory to God through believers is Holy Ghost. Wherever he comes, he is the supreme spirit. He's the capital S. Come on, somebody. And wherever Holy Ghost is permitted, welcomed and received, somebody shout every lowercase spirit. Somebody shout every unclean spirit. Every devil is overpowered. Somebody shout by the power of the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank God there's still a Holy Ghost. And he chooses to do his wonders through strange strategic ways in taking a preacher's handkerchief. I remember years ago a woman came down to the altar and the Holy Ghost said give her your handkerchief. And she took it home and she placed it according to what the Holy Ghost told me to tell her to do with it. I said, go put it up under the mattress where your husband sleeps. Hallelujah. I said, not only will God save him, he will sanctify him, fill him with the Holy Ghost and make a preacher out of him. Amen. Praise God. It took seven years later. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor and say, don't be weary and well-doing. 
For in due season you're going to reap if you faint not. Galatians 6. Amen. Verses 9. And seven years later, her husband got up one morning. He had been worse than he had ever been in all their marriage. But one morning he woke up, somebody saying, Holy Ghost. He wept, felt by the side of his bed, hallelujah, and wept right on that mattress without even knowing right up under it. Hey, man, was an old stinking, come on, somebody. Handkerchief or some loud mouth back then, toothpick with hairspray. Hey, man, glory to God, preacher had sweated all over it and wiped his tears on it. Come on, somebody, while he was preaching, hallelujah, and here he is weeping right over the very area. Hey, man, and she come and testified. Hey, man, glory to God, years later, and she said he not only got saved, he got sanctified, he got filled with the Holy Ghost, and now we're pastoring a church. Amen. Somebody shout, it's strange. This God we serve, somebody shout, he's in the business of strange things. Luke 5 and 26, the Bible said in the word of the Lord that the people marveled among themselves and began to converse and speak with each other and say, we've seen strange things today. Somebody shout, a man that could never walk got up and walked out toting his bed. People toted him into the service on his bed and he toted his bed out. Come on, somebody. And the people marveled at the power of Jesus and said we've seen strange things today. Look at your neighbor and say we've already seen some strange things tonight. Look at that preacher. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Strange. The word strange there in Greek would simply mean extraordinary. Somebody say out of the ordinary. Look at your neighbor say ain't you tired of the ordinary? Same song, second verse, could have been better, but it's going to be worse. You do everything that's going to happen between the time church service starts and when it's going to end. It's predictable. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody say, out of the ordinary. Not the same. Out of the same. Extra. Somebody say some extra with our ordinary. Hallelujah. And that's what the people experienced that day. Hallelujah. Mark said it in Mark 2 and 12 this way, the same account, the same story, but Brother Mark's telling the event uh, of his experience. Uh, amen. And he said, uh, we've never seen it on this fashion. Uh, Matthew, the converted tax collector, speaking of the same miraculous event, uh, amen, concludes in Matthew 9 and 8. Uh, and he said these words. Uh, he said, we marveled and glorified God uh, and said, God has given such power unto men. Somebody say, such power he has given. Hallelujah unto who? unto men, unto men that will believe him, unto women that will receive him. Come on somebody in the name of Jesus. Strange things out of the ordinary, extraordinary, miraculous. Somebody shout, that's the God we serve. Job chapter 9 and verses 10 said he does wonders without number. Somebody say that with me. Wonders without number. Whew. Count your blessings, count them. I ain't gonna try to sing tonight, that's why I hadn't tried to sing. I sound like froggy off the of little rascals if I tried to sing right now. <clears throat> Hallelujah. But, but, but listen, God says, I have more miracles, but if you're gonna be able to receive them, you got to be able to embrace the strange. Somebody say, out of the ordinary. Proverbs 3 and 5 said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Somebody shout, if you're going to faith God, you got to stop figuring God. You can't sit around and try to analyze the anointed one and think you're going to be able to receive from him. Come on. In God's word in 